How's it going, everyone? I'm the Swamp of Dave, and welcome back to Brother Nostalgia Train. I'm seeing something that's on the camera. I know it's a horror game, but jeez. Um, yes, there's a small, tiny little web. I think it's just because Brother doesn't need to be rested. Anyway, I think it was a web. It might have been a string. I don't know. I saw it at first went to web. Anyway, I'm getting such a sidetrack. So, admittedly, this is take two, but that's because I realized where I could have ended after a long cutscene. That long cutscene's going to have to be saved for next time. So, this is take two, and I've already gotten the two achievements between now and then. Because of the first take. There's a sign on the... No, really. I, I, got, I thought I got the door pump key to unlock the bedroom. Even though there's not a bedroom here, I still thought that was the case. Wait. I skipped dialogue. Whoops. Um. So I know I have to turn this. This room almost has nothing in it. Valve reel is labeled drainage. Turn it? Sure. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. My reaction is still going to be the same, just given... I know what happens, but... The response is still going to be... The same. Cthulhu? Cthulhu, is that you? <laughs> I, I know you have nothing to do with this game, but... Dim lights around you are reflecting off of... Oh, no, it's Pennywise. Okay. Bear in mind, people know Pennywise as a clown image, but really Pennywise is just an alien who feeds on other individuals' fears. He's not actually a clown. Try to fish out the thingamajig that's under the grating. Sure. What is this thing? Some kind of... Handle? Rusted valve wheel. Great. Okay. Let's, uh... So I searched around the first time around and got very confused. I was just looking around. Not really confused. I was looking around to see how big the room was because I wanted to explore a bit. But quite frankly, it's small enough to really go ahead, go ahead, right here. A crude label written on a piece of tape. Water pump. That's the rust of bill. Yeah. I want water to come out because I just emptied out a pool with dead people in it and I don't want to see the dead people. That was probably Pennywise. It's as far as it's going to go. I, I think. It's too rusted to turn anymore. I was just giving it a shot. I didn't realize that would actually work. Hi. It's a small hemp bag stained with copious amounts of blood. It seems to have fallen from the spigot. An elementary school or student ID name tag is attached to it. I believe the oldest elementary school class. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Ugh. The girl's name. Kokiko's. Great. I want to read the sign, but I don't want to trigger anything, so we're just going to pretend that sign's not there. Wow. This place is just a disaster. Okay. Next. If it takes me five minutes to get to where I was where I was thinking of leaving off, then maybe then I'll decide to progress. But I, I have to be doing it for like five minutes by the time I get to that point. Otherwise... Girl in the red dress. Let's follow the ghost because we're dumb. Oh boy. Here we go again. 
Where the hell's it gonna take us this time? Where your friend was sweater. Oh, that. The floor parts beneath that wall. I under her lobby and trails. No, thank you. Where the floor dips and the blood pools. Dip. Stop. Dip. Drop. Where's the volume on her right now? Actually, that's fine. Smelly. Smelly. Icky. Icky. Get in there good and... No. I don't like that. No. Oh, is that the doll? I get it, Ayumi. You don't want to. Trust me, I don't want either. You're getting a good laugh out of this, you sick son of a bitch. God. There's... If that's where it is... I'm not sure we can ever bring ourselves to get it. Is someone there? Hi. Or is she? You're alive. Ah, Yushinuma. In our class rep, I'm very glad to see the both of you. Safe and sound. Hmm? What happened? It's a long story. So, where have you been? I was in the second wing. Until a short while ago, I suddenly lost consciousness. When I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. Oh yes, and I did briefly cross paths with Moshida and his sister. You did? So they're okay too? They are. Though when I ran, next ran into Moshida's sister, it seems she and her brother had parted ways. Uh, Rashid? What? what? Is that in your hand? Uh. Rashid appears to be grasping a blood-soaked pouch in his hand. Oh, this? I, uh, found it under the floorboards in the hallway. Excuse you. Just up these stairs. That's really hard to believe. Some kind of charm? Do you want it? That is no charm. That is a tongue. Please, take it. I'm merely searching for a certain someone, so I have no need for charms at the present time. Who is Morshig looking for? Since the start, he seemed to be on his own. The severed tongue of one of the Heavenly Host's murder victims. Yuki! As with the others, there's a student ID. Yeah. From the Oast Elementary School, 52 Yuki Kano. Well... Be going now. Is something wrong, class rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. A ghost is an understatement. Oh yes. One more thing. She just said we would all try to meet in classroom one A. I just popped my thumb and that actually felt good. It shouldn't have, but it did. Uh, okay.
Hey, Yuki. I I'm guessing. Hey, Yumi, I mean. Sorry. Too many names. It wasn't from, you know, Suzumoto's spot. Maybe it shifted over a few feet. And he got it from there. I mean, if he didn't, then... That really freaked me out. Did you see his hands? They were covered in blood. Okay. Um. I actually forgot where I'm supposed to go. Actually, no, I didn't. I remember. It's very obscure, but this way. Hi! Which one did we give it to? Actually, both of them. You have two tongue. Get it back! Get it back! Hey, alright, alright! I got one for both of you! This girl's missing an eye. And the other one's missing most of her head. Like me. Oh my god, our tongues! Is that going to be enough? What do we do? Pull out the tongue bags. Sure. Probably would be a bad idea to do otherwise. The girls lowered their heads. There are what's left of it in one case. And begin rocking slowly back and forth as it feels anxious as it's feeling anxious. Yuki Kano. Kukiko Suji. These are for you. They're yours. Aren't they? Headed over the two bags. You can kind of see the head on the one over there. Yeah, that one. Um, although the one that's kind of hidden, that's right below me. I mean, it's the head is still there. Its eye is just missing. Hey, you. Thank you very much. <sighs> yeah, that. Yeah, that. We did it. We did it, Shinazaki. All three of them. And I just nicked my microphone for the billionth time ever since I got it. All that's left is. No! No! No more! I don't care what she t said before that. That was impeccable timing. Every time I talk to these ghosts, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death myself. Do you have any idea what that's like? I keep picturing how I'll look when I'm dead. I'm not even trying. It just pops into my head. All on its own. It's such a horrible image. I would imagine. I want to go home. I want to go home. That's my mom. My sister. And Yoshida. Shinazaki. Alright. Next one is mine, then. Okay? Just try to pull yourself to get... What? Oh, boy. Damn it, not again. Um, I wonder if these earthquakes happen every single time you appease someone. And they just happen amongst all the close spaces. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Who is that? Seriously, who is that? That seems very obscure and an extremely random dark figure. Who was that? 
Pennywise, did I yield? Ugh. Was I knocked out? Where am I? Open your eyes. Welcome back, I guess. Is this our classroom? No fool. Yeah. None whatsoever. Tell you what. Let's make let's make Shinozaki up and then we'll stop after that. Cause if you do go much further after this, there's a large cutscene that would take forever to get through. So hey, wake up. She's breathing at least. Zaki, come on. Wake up already. Kishi Numa? Okay, the sprite did that early. I out of the voice actress did that late. Huh? What? Take a look around, you. Take a look around you. No, it's not around, comma, you. It's around you. I can hardly believe it myself. But here we are. Apparently back. I said this in the original uh, version of this video, and I'll say it again. I don't trust it. No way! What? <gasps> We're back! For real? Is this... Really, our school? It's really real. Check it out. Here's my desk. Mine, too. It's right here. I can't believe it. It's true. Yeah, we made it. We're home. We're home! Wow, okay. I... Didn't expect that. Fuck yeah! Suck on that world! I not gonna lie, I did not expect that. Okay. Alright. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure you're happy to be back, but um if I go much further, I'm going to cause a cutscene that I don't want to see yet. So I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of uh, Corpse Party. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. It's so far you can't see it anymore. If anyone didn't show up as often as I was expecting, oh well. Maybe we'll see a different demon next time. Because this ain't over yet. We still got one more chapter to go. <sighs> and an extremely long cutscene. Which is probably all we'll see next time. Anyways, thanks again, guys. Uh, Want to check out any other horror games that have been done prior to this one? You can do the fun running corner and the train taking to that destination. One of which is actually very similar to this in the sense where the backstory is similar, but I'm not going to say which one. You'll find that out next time. Anyways, if you want to check out any of the rides, the stops you might have missed on this ride, click the link across right here. The train take you there. Um, or let us know in the comments below if you want to see something that's not on this channel quite yet. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!